Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. We were recently sitting in the basement and we were talking about the fish that we enjoy watching the most. And it dawned on me, a lot of the fish we were talking about aren't necessarily our favorite fish in the fish room. And perhaps you can relate. You know, sometimes people go out and they buy a really expensive pleco. And they put that pleco in the tank and it immediately goes behind some rocks or some wood and you don't see it again for six months. Well, while that's a really cool fish, it's not necessarily something you're enjoying on a daily basis. We've got fish like that in our fish room as well. So for instance, Joanna's got some scarlet battis, she's got, a pygmy, she's got some pygmy sunfish. They're super cool looking, but they're really shy and they're always hiding. So we decided to go around the fish room and talk a little bit about what our favorite fish are to look at and why. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, so we were kind of chilling out on the couch here talking about our favorite fish. Thought it'd be cool to kind of share that. We've got a lot of tanks here, and we really kind of agreed on a lot of the same fish. So who wants to point out the first one? Eli, you want to point out the first one? Where are you taking us? To the 150. I'm going to shut out this camera light so we don't get too much of a glare. So Eli, you're now kind of in the dark here. So who, who do you like? My favorite well, one of my favorite is the Raphael. Yeah, I like him a lot too, and I think that was one of the ones that we talked about as a family. We all really like that fish. What do you like about him? I don't know. He seems to have a very good personality, and he's just fun to watch. He is kind of fun to watch. So that's Raphael. We've had him for a number of years. When, he, when we first got him, he was tiny, maybe about the size of a pinky finger. Remember that? And now look at him. So that's Raphael, and he is definitely on our family top five or so of fish that we love. Now I'm going to stay in this tank because there's one that I really, really, really love. So the other fish that I really love, and I think this is actually my favorite, and that is the Geophagus cyrenomensis right here. Uh, look at the trailers on this guy. So you're starting to see these really long trailer fins coming off of pretty much everywhere. You see the Garami's actually trying to challenge him. Probably not a good idea, little Garami. So that is one of the fish I enjoy watching the most out of everybody in our fish room. He is the star of this tank. Okay, what else we got? Anybody else want to share? Me. Luke, what do we got, buddy? Okay, we're going to the Geophagus Tapajos. Yeah, this is a fun tank as well. And so the Geophagus Tapajos, again, a lot of color, right, buddy? What, what else do you like about them? I like them because they try to breed a lot, so it's really cool seeing their behaviors. Yeah, so they're really awesome. And then we've got just a couple others that we wanted to share. And we're going to let Joanna kind of share. Oh, all right, I get to pick. You get to pick. Let me get your whole head in the picture here. I'm really not used to following people around with the cameras. How does that sound? I follow fish around. Um, yeah, the Sahikas. And what are we liking about them? Um, well, they're always out. They always come to say hi, so they don't run away like a lot of, you know, some of the fish will. And then, of course, you have little Nemo over there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's little Nemo. So cute. He's missing a dorsal fin. Mm -hmm. And he's tiny. He's kind of like the runt of the litter. <laughs> he's pretty awesome, though. But they're so pretty. They are pretty, and the tank is really working out well for them. So Sahikas are totally cool. And what's our last one? We're done. Oh, here we go. Mr. Creamsicle over here. And I think most of us agreed that he's awesome. And these, this is, a, again, now they're in the process of destroying this tank. And so if you remember when I set it up, we went light on just about everything. And we had some hornwort and we had some other stuff. And they are literally just making a mess. I actually covered up a big giant pit that they had dug uh, just because it was not very appealing. But that's Creamsicle and he is totally awesome. Lots of personality and as you can see he's not camera shy and I think he's one of our favorites. What do you think guys? Is he one of our favorites? Yeah. 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 Pretty cool for a fish that we got by mistake. And they're all the same breed but they all look totally different. Yep, they're all the same. They actually, they're all little brothers and sisters. And yeah, they look completely different. Not a single one of them is the same. So we got brown one over here, well, kind of reddish brown. And then we got the mostly white one, little bitty one, and then the one that's all orange. So these red devils are quite different from one another, but still super cool. All right, everyone. So those are some of the fish that we really enjoy. Now, there were obviously some fish that we left out. We couldn't make the list like, you know, half of our tanks. Obviously, I love my Maltese. 
I love the Cypochromus. There are other fish, the Oscars. I really, really enjoy them as well. So they definitely get some honorable mentions. It's just that when we really look at some of our top, top favorites fish that where I can just get lost and watch them for a really long time, or they've got fantastic personality, a lot of the fish that we discussed today, they wind up on that list. So I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Do you have a difference? Do you have a difference between the fish that you enjoy watching the most and maybe your, the favorite fish that you have in the fish room? When those two lists are combined, that's a really cool thing. So if you like this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.